Hello, welcome back once again. Today we are in Hungary and searching for scholarship opportunity. Today I'm going to take you to a tour to the Stipendum Hungarian online application. So, as you can see from the screen here, the Stipendum Hungarian application is now open and it is going to be applied online and they are making a warning here that uh, financial fraud from unknown authorized addresses which is stating that uh, students should pay its amount of money so they want that Hungarian uh, Kunstipendum is free and you can only apply through online and then they listed um, sending partners that is those people that in your own country you may seek uh, you may you may ask them to send to send uh, your application to them so let us let us take uh, a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply this so immediately when you come to this uh, uh, website it will automatically detect your region uh, uh, your country automatically so what you are going to do here is that you are going to click here in order we are going to find the 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 courses that means we are going to look for the courses that you are going to study so if you look look here very carefully you will find out that there are about 162 162 bachelor's degree and 191 master's degree and then there is seven non-degree and then there are one time masters uh, there are one time masters 23 doctoral degree 102 so what we are going to do here is that you have to click here and write your course let's say i just write biological science biological sciences and you search for it let's wait and see so it gives us a t result as you can see so what we are going to do here is that we are going to choose uh, a university that we feel like uh, it meets we meet the criteria so this is a degree study that is a doctoral school of biology and environmental sciences so we will be checking them one by one so that we'll be looking at this this is for phd all of them showing phd here make it careful be careful in your observation you'll be seeing phd phd so we are here ma master's degree Teacher Educational Sciences, um, you'll be seeing PhD, MA, PhD. So you'll be moving, moving, moving slowly, moving, moving slowly, moving, moving slowly. So we found one course here. So if I continue looking for biological sciences, uh, we may get a lot of uh, time before we reach here. It's like there is about eight one searches. So we are going to take computer science from University of Pex. So what we are going to do here is that you have to look for more information here. When you touch them up for more information, let's wait and see. So it takes you to here bachelor's degree that is you are going to spend about six semesters 
the study language is english bsc so these are the entry requirement the entry requirement for every university differs so you have to make sure that you selected university and you look at the criteria of the university before going back and apply for the scholarship that is they need a high school that is secondary school education uh, the entry qualification document are accepted in the following language often you can get suitable transcript from your school if this not if this is not the case you will need official translation allowed with verified copies of the original this is talking about uh, countries that they study in their own languages that is uh, people from uh, part of a uh, country that maybe they study in French they study in Spanish they study in any kind of language they need to translate their document into English and then they have to take along the original with them so these are the territory that is uh, the countries that they are eligible to apply for the scholarship and then make sure that you have been checking this English proficiency test so most of time uh, there are universities that they need it and then there are university that they don't need it so uh, that is uh, what they are uh, that uh, they wrote here uh, you do not have to submit an official English test, test result if one of the following criteria apply to you so you have to understand this English is your native language you have continued your undergraduate study in English you have participated in a preparatory course organized by UP or any other Hungarian Institute that is University of Pax you have to submit official transcript of your preparatory study so part of the other requirement there is a motivational letter which is must be added to your application uh, um, and then there is a Eurofast series which is supposed to be in English and then this motivational letter that is letter of intent or you can say letter of interest showing interest or statement of purpose should be between 3000 to 3500 characters and then you need to have a valid passport international passport or national id card but most of time uh, they consider international passport more and then official copy of language exam certificate so this is all in all so for more information you are going to click here and know more about it and then there are overview of the courses here you can see everything that you need to know about the course you are going to look at it so this is it and then in the next video i'm going to show you how practically step by step on how to apply hungarian constipendum um, scholarship thank you and make sure that you follow us for more opportunity and funding thank you very much